Lowell Mellican is the uh, founder and chairman of the National Institute for Excellence in Teaching. He wrote that the effectiveness of an educational s system cannot exceed the effectiveness of the educators in the system. In education, human capital is far more important than financial capital. And he's right. Teacher effectiveness influences education more than any other school factor, including class size and per pupil funding. In fact, teachers have three times as much influence on student learning outcomes as the school they attend. Yet parents have no information about or influence over their teachers that their children are assigned to. A more recent study by Thomas Kane, a professor of education and economics at Harvard University, found that a bad teacher is measured by his or her students' growth or test score gains. A bad teacher could set student educational attainment back by nine months in one year. This study tracked the educational attainment of two and a half million students over two decades. It found that replacing an ineffective teacher by a good teacher or even an average teacher could produce huge differences for long-term student outcomes. Students with highly effective teachers not only earn more, they're more likely to do better on a number of aspects that measure life success. Research on the effective principles demonstrates that like teachers, principles make a profound difference. The most effective principles, those in the top 20%, raise school-wide test scores 15 percentile points. Those in the bottom 20 percent lower school-wide test scores 15 percentile points. This 30 percentile point spread means the difference between graduating from high school or not, going to college or not. And while teachers and principals have the largest impact on student performance, their salaries are by and large unrelated to their success with predictably dysfunctional results. Now, in higher education, as a commissioner of higher education in my state for six years, and as a college president for 10 years, and as a member of the board of trustees of a number of universities, I can assure you that in higher education, professors are compensated in large measure based on the disciplines they teach. Math, science, engineering, and business professors are paid far more than history, English, sociology, and psychology professors. And raises are based on performance, not seniority. Currently, we dramatically underpay our best teachers and our most effective principals. While their union bosses are getting paid of upwards of half a million dollars a year. 